Russian cyber criminals arrested in Europe. Moscow, Pyotr Levish of appeared to be just another comfortable member of Russia's rising middle class and IT entrepreneur with a taste for upmarket restaurants, Thai massages and foreign travel. Then police raided his vacation rental in Barcelona. Marching him out in handcuffs to face charges of being one of the world's most notorious spam lords. Levashov's April 7 arrest was one in a series of American-initiated operations over the past year to seize alleged Russian cyber criminals outside their homeland, which has no extradition agreement with the United States. They come at a fraught moment in relations between Moscow and Washington, where politicians are grappling with the allegation that Kremlin hackers intervened in the US election to help President Donald Trump. Through their lawyers, several defendants have suggested their arrests are linked to the election turmoil. Experts say that's possible. Though an Associated Press review of the cases found no firm evidence to back the claim. There is a big hunt underway, said Andrei Soldatov, an expert on the Russian security services and co-author of Red Web, a book about Russian attempts to control the Internet. He said the recent burst of arrests made it look like the United States was trying to understand what's going on with a very complicated world of Russian hacking and a very complicated relationship between Russian hackers and Russian secret services. But Soldatov didn't rule out another possible explanation. The imprisoned Russians may be falsely tying their arrests to Trump's election in a bid to sow confusion and politicize their cases. It's a very big question, he said. He got to every mailbox there ever was. At least five Russians have been picked up in Europe as part of US cybercrime prosecutions in the last nine months. Five alleged Russian cyber criminals have been arrested across Europe in American-initiated operations in the past nine months. Here's a look at who they are, how they were caught and what they're accused of doing. Pyotr Levish of, 36, is accused by US. Prosecutors of being one of the world's most notorious criminal spammers. Law enforcement and security researchers have linked Levishov, via his alias Peter Severa, to a series of powerful botnets networks of hijacked computers carrying names like Storm, Wailed and Clehose and capable of pumping out more than a billion emails a day. He was arrested in April when the Airbnb apartment he was sharing with his family in Barcelona was raided by police. He is fighting extradition, his wife says he's innocent. Evgeny Nikulin, 29, is accused by US prosecutors of penetrating computers at Silicon Valley firms including LinkedIn and Dropbox in 2012, around the time both companies reported massive breaches affecting tens of millions of users. A Lamborghini lover who ran a popular Instagram account devoted to sports cars, Nick Allen socialized with children of the Kremlin's elite, including the daughter of Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. He was arrested at a Prague restaurant in October and is currently appealing the decision of a Czech court to OK his extradition. Russia has lodged a counter-extradition request in a bid to bring him home. Alexander Vinik, 38, is accused by US. 
prosecutors of running of major Bitcoin exchange that helped to launder criminal proceeds from syndicates around the world. He was arrested earlier this week on the grounds of his hotel near Aranupolis in northern Greece an area popular with Russian tourists. Finnick, who was on vacation with his wife and two young children, was distracted by an innocuous question from a policeman while a second officer came up from the side and snatched his phone. The exchange he's alleged to have run, BTCE, is currently out of commission. Stanislav Lysov, 31 is accused by US prosecutors of developing malicious software called NeverQuest which stole information on banking clients and financial websites and caused almost $1 million in losses in the United States. Lysov, from the small resort town of Taganrog in southern Russia, was detained at Barcelona airport in January while in the middle of a European honeymoon. He has said he was formerly employed by IT company Ageto that did work for the Russian government. Lysov had an extradition hearing in Madrid last week and is awaiting a ruling. Yuri Martish of 35, is accused by US prosecutors of running a counter-antivirus service where cyber criminals could test whether their malware would be blocked by computer security products. He was extradited to the United States from Latvia after being detained on a train from Russia in April. He recently pleaded not guilty before a judge in Alexandria, Virginia.